Hello and welcome to another episode of The Forgotten Golfer. Today is episode two, How to Swing the Golf Club for the Beginner. I'm happy to say that episode one was a huge success. People are writing in and loving it and it um, makes me happy because that's why I do this, to help people. Um, so if you really want to see all the episodes, subscribe to the channel and just tune in. Even if you're not a beginner, a lot of people are saying it's good to recap some of the things that they've forgotten over the years. But the beginners are really learning a lot, and I'm happy. Last episode, we went over the grip. So I hope you've been working on your grip since last time. Then we went over how to address the ball, how to stand to the ball, and the length of distance between you and the ball. Then we talked about how to aim, parallel to the line, club at the target, body parallel, how to aim. Then we did a quick exercise where we had toe up, hip, and toe up, toe up, hip, toe up, just to get the student used to using the wrist this way, rolling the wrist over. That's not a takeaway, that was just an exercise. Today we're dealing with the actual takeaway, which, I mean takeaways, there as many takeaways as there is golfers, but I've come up with a great way for the beginning to take the club back and to take it away consistently, so your shots will go straight as an arrow and you'll be more consistent than anyone that you know. So come on back. I can't wait to get started with episode two. There are a lot of different takeaways, as I've said before. There's the old school takeaway where the club opened up. There's a new school takeaway where the club is more square to your, your spine angle, right? Well, our takeaway is going to be really, really in there. With the second one, the newer one. It's not a fly it open takeaway. And I think your shots are going to go straighter and more consistent this way. And it's a very easy takeaway to do. Now you remember how I said you get up to the ball. At this point, we're still keeping our stance narrow. Put the club out there. And take it down, put it out there, and let it land right at the ball. Right? My right thumb is right at the ball. My head is right at the club. Okay? Now, how I want you to take the club back, believe it or not, very simply, I want you to lift the club so it's pointing directly away from you, just like this. So we measured the distance, we lift the club, and then we just turn, and there it is. There's the takeaway. There's the first half of the swing. Let me do that again. We're going to lift the club. We're not going to open it. We're not going to turn the, the left arm. We're going to lift the club, and we're going to get there by just turning our shoulders. We're not doing anything with the legs. We're letting the legs go where they want to go. At this point, lift the club, turn it, and there you are. There's the half swing. That's the half swing point right there. Right? Let me show you it this way. You're going to get to the ball. You're going to lift the club. 
And you're going to turn, turn your shoulders till you're right here, just like that. Lift the club, turn the shoulders. There's no wobbling of the wrists, turning of the arms. It's basically one piece. Up. Okay. And you go, well, how can I play like that? No, you can't. I'm just telling you the position that you're going to be in. When you actually do it, it's going to be, see? But I just want you to feel where you're going to be. And you can actually hit the ball that way. Now, let me show you. So we'll get up to the ball. Get our stance. Get the right distance from the ball. Get our head up. Pick the club up. Go like this. And hit it. And you've got to be saying, well, how, how the heck did you do that? I mean, you had the club way in the air and you hit it because I'm not moving my spine angle or my head. Everything is staying right there. Got it? Those of you who aren't understanding the spine angle uh, meaning, Say my left hand is my spine angle. Say the wire connected to this coin is my arms. Say the coin is my club. Here's the spine angle. There's my arms. And we're swinging the club. If we don't move the spine angle, the coin is going to or the club is going to be on the same path. You see what I mean? So if we keep ourselves straight with the spine, our club is going to stay on the path, and you're not going to hit it fat or thin. You're going to hit it consistent, just like this. This is an old theory. This goes way back. You know, the hand is the spine angle. The cord is your arms. And the coin is your club. Don't move it. Don't move it up and down or you'll lose it. See? That's what we're talking about. To even drive the point home further, let me show you a club I used when I was a young golfer. This is called the Whippy, the Whippy Tempo Master. Look at this guy. This is like having a piece of rope on the end of a club and the whole point of this is to keep your tempo just like the one they have today but it's not this flimsy this is flimsy all right so the same thing just lift it up turn it and hit it <laughs> i haven't done this in a few years <laughs> let me see if i can do this let me see if i can hit this thing pick it up turn let me, see if I can, <laughs> let me see if I can make contact. All right, so we get our spot. Lift it up. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. I rushed it a little because it's, you know, I got my camera here, but woo. This is, this is the whole theory. You keep your spine angle straight and you'll hit it. And that's what I'm talking about. Some people call spine angle posture. You know, you set your posture. And then. But if you can get your hands on the whippy tempo master. Three wood. It's a trip. Let me tell you. Here you are. You're addressing the ball. You just pick it up. And you're doing this. Let me keep my head down. You're addressing the ball, you're picking it up, and you're doing this. So the hands are just going like this. Just going like this. And you're going to get a little turn of your hips unless you're really supple. If you're my age, you're going to get a lot of turn in the hips. But 
just pick it up and turn it over. So a person contacted me and said that she's using a five iron for her driver right now. She's a total beginner and she's comfortable with that. And could I please use a five iron and show her how to hit a five iron off a tee? I don't have a five iron. I go to the six and then I go to hybrid. But a six will do. Uh, actually, this is the length of a five iron. My clubs are a little longer for my back. But I will show her how to use this just like a driver. Now, the takeaway is the same. Doesn't matter. We're just going to play it toward the inside of the left foot because we're not going to try to compress this ball. We're going to try to go right under it, scoop it up, hit it high so she gets a little extra distance like a driver. And then when she gets her wooden clubs, she'll be all set to go. I, if I was her, I'd go out and buy a hybrid. I think a hybrid for a beginner is the easiest club to hit. But we'll see what she does. So anyway, again, we're picking it up. Get that feeling. Get that feeling nice and easy. Put it in back of the ball. Feet are narrow. Head up. And there it is. Not too bad for a drive for a beginner. Yeah. <laughs>